The Mighty Ducks might never have made it to the screen if it weren't for Wayne Gretzky's trade to the LA Kings in 1988, a move that sparked an increased interest in ice hockey throughout Los Angeles, and didn't go unnoticed by Hollywood execs. Stephen Brill's script about a down-and-out lawyer taking over a useless peewee team was picked up by Disney, and the Mouse House quickly set about preparing sequels after the box office success of the 1992 original. Coach Gordon Bombay and his ragtag roster of players triple deked their way into pop culture history. Ducks never say die. Ever seen a duck fight? No way. Why? Because the other animals are afraid. But you can't play Pee Wee forever, and Bombay's ducklings are now all grown up. And not all of them found Hollywood success after leaving the nest. Emilio Estevez the role of Gordon Bombay allowed Emilio Estevez to shake off the Brat Pack tag he carried throughout the 80s. He'd already attempted to move away from coming-of-age dramedies with his turn as Billy the Kid in the Young Guns movies, though Bombay was his first real grown-up character. He carried on acting into the late 90s and early 2000s, but now spends much of his time writing and directing. He still holds Gordon Bombay close to his heart, however, which he proved in 2015 when he live-tweeted support for the Anaheim Ducks during their playoff showdown with the Chicago Blackhawks. Joshua Jackson the part of championship-winning penalty scorer Charlie Conway was originally supposed to be played by a young Jake Gyllenhaal, who was offered the part on the back of his performance as Billy Crystal's son in 1991's City Slickers. Joshua Jackson stepped in when Jake couldn't take it, which kick-started a career that's grown to include five-season stints on Dawson's Creek and Fringe. Jackson made his transition from movies to TV after taking his final bow as Charlie in 1996's Mighty Ducks threequel, D3, and he remained a man of the small screen today, starring in Showtime's The Affair. Eldon Henson It's hard to believe Matt Murdock's lovable sidekick Foggy Nelson is the same guy that played hulking enforcer Fulton Reed. Eldon Henson made his first appearance in The Mighty Ducks when members of the team were cornered by players from their rival team, the Hawks, dispatching the bullies with ease. Henson went on to be a key member of the team and the cast over the course of the three movies. But when the Ducks disbanded, he struggled to make an impact in the showbiz industry, resorting to supporting parts in such films as The Butterfly Effect. Henson's fortunes have taken a turn for the better over recent years. Not only on the big screen when he played the part of Pollux in the two-part Hunger Games finale, but on television, too. He's portrayed well-meaning lawyer Foggy in Netflix's Daredevil, as well as in the team-up series The Defenders. Sean Weiss before making his film debut in The Mighty Ducks, Sean Weiss worked on several TV shows, including an early appearance on The Cosby Show. By 1992, he'd grown into a big-boned 14-year-old and was considered a perfect fit for the role of goalie Greg Goldberg. Oh, I smell something. Oh. Goldberg! He went on to portray the flatulent goalie in the Ducks sequels, taking time off between them to star in an early Ben Stiller comedy, Heavyweights, a film that went on to amass a cult following of its own. Weiss saw the 90s out with a four-episode stint on Judd Apatow's Freaks and Geeks, though the next decade wasn't kind to him, with his most significant appearance in a feature film coming as the unnamed bus driver in 2008's Drillbit Taylor. Matt Doherty after taking the part of Lester Averman in the Mighty Ducks movies, Matt Doherty got another 90s classic on his resume in So I Married an Axe Murderer. As he approached adulthood, roles started to dry up for Doherty, and he walked the tightrope between supporting actor and extra. In recent years, he's turned to TV movies and found some success on the sci-fi small screen scene. Garrett Henson this young star got off to a flying start with his movie career, appearing in 10 feature films over a six-year period. He made his bow in Arachnophobia, for example, but Garrett Henson is perhaps best remembered as Guy Germain from the Mighty Ducks movies. While he admits to enjoying a chat about the Ducks today, being associated with the film started to wear thin towards the end of the decade. He ultimately stepped away from acting to pursue college and made a brief return to the biz in 2007 when he played a prisoner in The Mansfield 12. He's now busy working behind the lens. Danny Tamborelli Italian-American actor and musician Danny Tamborelli played the role of defenseman Tommy Duncan in The Mighty Ducks, though he didn't return for either of the sequels. Instead, Tamborelli opted to take on the role of little Pete Wrigley in Nickelodeon's The Adventures of Pete and Pete, the role that he's still best remembered for. 
The Kids Network added him to the cast of their slimy game show Figure It Out and their live sketch comedy All That in the late 90s. Though he departed from Nickelodeon at the turn of the millennium and transitioned into voice work, music, and comedy. Nowadays, Tamborelli fronts Brooklyn-based rock band Jounce. Jesse Smollett Justin Jesse Smollett recently pulled off a comeback worthy of the Mighty Ducks, turning his fading career around and putting himself firmly back on the Hollywood map. Smollett appeared in the first Ducks movie but didn't reprise the role of Terry Hall in either sequel, and it wasn't until the 2010s when he landed a career-making role in Fox's hit series Empire that things got back on track. Thanks to his compelling work on the celebrated series, Ridley Scott cast him in his Prometheus sequel Alien Covenant, and he's well on his way to the top. Vincent LaRusso when we first meet Adam Banks in The Mighty Ducks, he's the star player for the Ducks rival team, who had to change squads due to his fudged home address. He was an unlikely hero for the Ducks in the end, and Vincent LaRusso portrayed Banks in all three Mighty Ducks movies. LaRusso made a brief and unexpected return to the big screen when he portrayed the bank robber in the 2008 spoof superhero movie, though that remains his last credit of any note. Today, the former Duck works as an inventory controller for the hospitality chain Soho House. Brandon Adams Otherwise known as Jesse Hall in the first two Mighty Ducks movies, Brandon Adams was exposed to the world of acting as a toddler when he appeared in a number of commercials. But his big break came when he was cast as Zeke Baby Bad Michael in Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. He went on to work with Wes Craven in The People Under the Stairs before nabbing the Mighty Ducks role. Adam always had one foot in film while the other remained in television, however, and he started to lean more heavily on the latter as his career progressed. He has some genuine 90s classics to his name, including The Sandlot. Marguerite Moreau as Connie in The Mighty Ducks, Marguerite Moreau may have inspired a lot of young girls to break down gender norms and hit the ice. The actress seemed to grow up pretty quickly after The Mighty Ducks trilogy ended in 1996, appearing as camp counselor Katie in Wet Hot American Summer a short five years later. A major role in Queen of the Damned followed soon after, but while she continued to make regular movie appearances throughout the 2000s, the parts she was offered became increasingly unfulfilling and she turned her attention to television. Moreau has plied her trade in small-screen classics such as Smallville, Parenthood, and Mad Men, and also reprised the role of Katie in 2015 when she reunited with her Wet Hot American Summer castmates for Netflix's prequel series First Day of Camp. J.D. Daniels even though he was a prolific child actor in the 1990s, J.D. Daniels did not come back to reprise the role of Peter Mark in either of the Mighty Ducks sequels, and instead went on to win a number of new roles across a variety of genres. Like some of his Ducks colleagues, Daniels moved into voiceover work, and although he hasn't notched up an acting credit in almost a decade, Daniels remains active in the industry, currently working for the Actors' Equity Association. Aaron Schwartz Practically unrecognizable today, the broad and bearded Aaron Schwartz has come a long way since playing chubby prankster Dave Karp in the first Mighty Ducks. He joined up with fellow duck Danny Tamborelli for an eight-episode stint on The Adventures of Pete and Pete, then teamed up with another former castmate, Sean Weiss, for Judd Apatow's Heavyweights. When the formerly heavyset Schwartz reappeared after a 15-year absence from the industry in the CW's Gossip Girl, he'd grown into a primetime worthy hunk. He'll join the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2017 when he takes on the role of young Ego in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, a younger version of Kurt Russell's character. And just when you think they're about to break apart, ducks, ducks fly together! together. Thanks for watching! Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!